The Today exclusive, 84 people were killed in Nice, France last month when a man drove a truck into crowds at a holiday celebration. Well, now a Texas woman who was there and survived but lost her husband and son is sharing her story with NBC's Janet Chanlian. Kim Copeland took this photo of her 11-year-old son Brody about a minute before he was killed in the Nice terrorist attack. All of a sudden, I hear my husband scream, watch out. And um, I look up and see a big white truck headed straight towards us. Sean Copeland ran to his son, then chaos and the unthinkable. When you went to Brody, what condition was he in? Not good. I knew that he was gone. Sean lived a few hours, the entire time asking about Brody. We were that family that was all over. Two Americans have died and that's us. That's our two Americans. Um, it was a nightmare. It is a nightmare. It had been a dream vacation for the family, which included Sean's two adult children, Megan and Austin. In the days after the attack, Kim and her stepchildren alone in France, but feeling the love from home. The Facebook messages, the text messages, the posts, the tributes that were going on, and although none of us were responding directly to them, we were reading them. Brody was such a bright light. The tributes and memorials for Sean and Brody are over now, and Kim says difficult reality is sinking in. You're back in Texas? Yes. What's the hardest part about that? The house. Yeah. Your home. Your home. Brody's home. Sean's home. This house that we built together that we wanted to live in forever is empty. She wants people to know that Brody loved baseball and was a friend to everyone and that her husband Sean's warning likely saved three lives. I don't regret going on our family vacation together because we had the most amazing days and minutes together as a family of five that I wouldn't take back. Despite enduring such heartbreak, Kim says she's doing okay. And how do you get out of your bed each morning? So I get up and go for them so that they know I'm okay. Because neither one of them would want me to be sad. A father and son lost to terror, but their lives and love never forgotten. For today, Janet Shamley and NBC News, Austin. It brings it home. Our hearts and prayers are with them for yes. sure. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.